Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be starting work in this antique ledger. I was lucky enough when I was uh, trolling uh, in an antique mall in uh, Orlando to find a uh, basket full of these and they are just absolutely delicious. These are unbound, as you can see, with long ledger sheets. And I'm going to be working on this first one today. But I thought I'd let you see why I was so tickled when I, um, when I found this material. So, today, begins a new adventure in my in this antique ledger and for those of you who might want to know I have um, a few of these that are going to be I've sold one or two and I have uh, a one or two more that I'm going to be putting um, in my Etsy shop and the um, information for my shop is down below it's uh, Carol Martin art and uh, you might want to browse and have a look. These will be coming up probably uh, through the end of this week and next week. So I'm going to set this one aside. And take this first sheet. This is beautiful paper. If it works at all like the paper did in last year's antique ledger, it's uh, made of iron and no amount of wet media seems to affect it at all. It's um, just a moment. I will we'll rush down that rabbit hole for a moment and I'll remind you about that last one. This was the one I worked on last year, and this was able to handle all of the uh, wet media that I wanted to uh, include. This, of course, is a piece of collage, and this uh, are two flowers that I drew in watercolor. No problem there. On this page, uh, a mixture of collage and um, uh, gouache and some uh, pastels no problem there either so i that's why i call this old paper uh, miracle paper today as you can see i fussy cut two pieces of uh, collage. I, for some reason, was called to do white flowers and was lucky enough to find some of these. So I have these two pieces and this little girl. I sketched on this very thin uh, Dollar Tree paper. Uh, you can almost see through it, but I sketched her and then I decided that I liked her little face so much that uh, I wasn't going to try to repeat it and I didn't want to um, uh, use a carbon under it because I was afraid that the paper wouldn't stand it. So I used my Yoohoo uh, glue stick and attached her. Now I've decided that in since I have white flowers I'm going to um, and this lovely buff and uh, uh, graphite behind her I'm going to um, put down some little bits of uh, my ceram coat white on her face 
so that then I can add some color to her face with um, my Neo Color 2s. So, let's get some white on white here. Actually, what this is providing is a, uh, a safe layer, a safe layer for her so that I can be feeling a little bit better about that incredibly thin paper. want to be come more proficient in painting these sweet little girls. I've had a real urge to do that and I did about four or five sketches and this was the only one that I was uh, pleased with. I was rather proud of her little face so I thought ah, a good start for my new for my new journal. Oh, I have to move her around a bit because this white on white is not the easiest thing in the world to see. Okay. Now, I'm going to call that mission accomplished. Bring her in a little bit closer for you to be able to see her. And I'm going to uh, let her dry a bit. But I'm not going to use a heat gun on her because uh, of the glue stick. So let's see what colors in my selection Ouch, that I might want to use. I'm wondering if a little bit of A uh, Stabilo All in black might give me an opportunity to start her eyes a little bit. Just let's see if we can make this work.
afraid I get rather quiet when I'm working on girls. I hope you will uh, understand. Let's see if we can. Try a little bit of a flesh, flesh tone just to put in some shadowing around her eyes. Appear in her hairline a little bit. color to her shadow areas here. Darker up here. She's a young girl. I want to uh, try to keep her lips light. Now a little bit of 
periwinkle blue. a fresh color that I haven't used but I'm uh, scribbling it down on my cheapo cutting board here This, yes, is a brown. back to some of that flesh tone because we can always cover it up a little bit of well she's quite mottled looking Well, I think what's bothering me about her is that she hasn't got eyes yet. And I'll put a little bit of tiny bit of blue up here. There. A little bit better. Maybe a little bit of that. Purple in there while we're at it. And now, let's see if we can calm things down here with some white.
decide whether or not this is suiting me. Whether or not she might just need some. Let's see what we have here now. Well, that's a little bit better. Is, but I want a little bit more color there and I need a little bit more color in those eyes Well, Carol, doesn't that make a difference? Let's let me have a look from further back. Alrighty, yes. Would have helped if I'd had that flower the right way. Alrighty. I'm thinking. Just a little more life on those cheeks. But not too much. I'm using the thinnest possible layer of watered acrylic paint. Actually, I think this is a figment of my imagination, but
here we go. That upper lip is annoying me. dry brushing or trying to some bangs
let's see, we have an issue with that pedal. Not enough color under her chin. that you will probably question as to why I call this a tutorial when I got so quiet I'm afraid I must apologize because I get very engrossed especially when I'm making trying to make a pretty little girl thinking that I'm going to leave well enough alone That's better. As you can see, I could uh, I could piddle with this. For almost ever. One eye is a little wonky, but wonky happens sometimes. Let's see if I can close that up a little bit. Put that shadow that's necessary there. Well, 
I'm going to let that dry, do some cleanup, attach these pieces of collage, and I will return. I hope that you will still be with me, but I shall certainly understand that if you are not, because I really did zone out, because I was having, I guess, just so much fun that I just forgot to share. I'll be right back. Now I'm using my Inktense, Derwent Inktense pencils to shade uh, behind these flowers. And on this side I'm using a uh, neutral gray. I think I'll put some green as a shading color up there. I think I'll have some or a rosy color. Maybe a little dusky purple in here. No, I'm not sure I'm going to like that one. Not that one. Love this one. And I'll use fuchsia over here. Just along here. A nice little square brush and some of my white paint on the brush. Very, very, very little. And let's see what we can do for spreading the shading out here. Now this is getting a bit more water and you'll notice the paper is doing quite nicely. little bit of softening on this edge here. And a little 
little bit here. This is my go-to method and I use it, I'm afraid, repeatedly because it, uh, it does the job. I'm sure there are many other ways to do this that you might find. Notice that I'm putting water right over that either ink or graphite. And nothing is happening to any of it. It's absolutely, I have found that this type of pa this paper at this age, I don't know, this composition is just be nice if we put paper like that, that was made like that now. green in here. Now, going to work a little bit around the bottom one, but you don't need to see me continue to do this. Your time is precious. And when I have some shading done there, I'll get back to you. Well, as a finish and a balance. I'm adding some rather dark green plain leaves to match the kind that were on the um, collage up here and here. And I'm using uh, dark forest green for the dark ones. And then I'm going back uh, one shade to put a few up here. And I think my girl will be finished. And one more down here. Well, I think she's quite balanced.
balanced. The temptation to put some more of these up here. No. No, I don't want to do that. So, I do hope that you have enjoyed my very quiet, quiet tutorial because of my tendency to forget to speak while I'm doing a girl. I'm quite tickled with her. And I must get back to doing more of them because I like doing them probably just a little bit more than flowers actually. There. So, if you have enjoyed sharing this time with me, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Here is my girl, and more practice to make sure that the eyes are a little bit more equal, but she's, uh, I do like them nonetheless. Bye now.